Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness from lovely Copenhagen. Yeah, it's my hotel room. Yes, it's dark. You know, if you look out there, you can see, well, well, pretty much nothing. But see, it's kind of a pretty view. There's, you know, a nice river over there, or some body of water or something. It's kind of cool. Um, so what is the tool for today? Well... You know how it is when we get to that holiday season, that wonderful time of year where you start stressing out about money and everything else? I'd like to do a couple tours of consciousness uh, to start giving you a different financial reality. And so first tool for today, and I'll give you a note. Oh, let's see, where's the best lighting? Mm, I have no idea. It's not easy to film in the dark. Um, but first tool is what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, to ask yourself if I had a hundred million dollars right now that renewed annually, in other words, you got a hundred million dollars every 12 months, what would you do with it? What would you choose? What would you choose? What would you change? What would you do differently than you do right now? Now, the interesting part is I actually came up with this tool several years ago. I was doing an ESB class in Denver. And what I was looking at was, was trying to get people to recognize what they would choose if they had no financial limitations any longer. So that's where I'm asking this question from, which is if you had a hundred million dollars, I mean, right now for most of us, a hundred million dollars, we go, are you kidding? Why? I don't even know what could occur in the world with a hundred million dollars, let alone if I had it. And so, it, what it starts to do is it starts to break apart your paradigms of what money means to you and what you can do and what you can't do and what you can choose and what you can't choose and starts to create a different financial reality, a different reality around this whole situation. And that's what we're looking to create because if you can have a different reality around money, then what shows up financially for you can be totally different. So if you had $100 million right now that renewed every 12 months, what would you choose? Now, please do me a favor, watch this video a few times in the next few days. You know, don't make it a stress, but um, by doing that, what will happen is you'll, you'll start to get the energy of it. You'll start to get the energy of what that could actually be like for you because whether you realize it or not, this is sort of a game changer, sort of a paradigm changer in how you start to look at money. Because if money were no longer something you had to struggle for or struggle against, if money were no longer something you had to hate, no longer something you had to resist, no longer something that was good or bad, but it were just there to use, what would you choose? And usually what we'll do is, you know, we'll go to, okay, I'd pay my credit cards off and then I'd pay my house off and then I'd give some money to some friends and family. And then, and then at that point you're like, uh, I don't know what I would choose, but that's where the beauty begins. Once you get past that particular um, point of view or that set of walls, that set of barriers that are in your world, you start actually recognizing that if it were about what you desire to create and it weren't about the money anymore, then it would be about your creation if we take money off the table as a limiting factor. And the difficulty is most of us have had money as the limiting factor in what we can create. And we have this idea that I must have the money in order to create this. I'll tell you from personal experience, that's not necessarily the case. Um, we'll talk more about that later. But if you start to recognize right now, if I had $100 million right now, what would I choose? and then be with it, even through that sort of weird, uncomfortable space where it feels like you're not getting anywhere, you can't get anywhere past this point, that's... Sorry, my phone went into low power mode. That's the point that you actually wanna be with it and just be with it and be with it. And what will happen if you be with it enough times, something will open up that gives you a different awareness of what is actually true about money for you that may be totally different than what you thought was your reality. So once again, if you had $100 million right now that renewed annually, what would you choose? What would you create? What would you choose differently? What would you do differently? And what would you be differently? And also the last thing I wanna point out before this video ends, we're getting to the end of our video, um, is a lot of you may have resistance to even looking at this 
And if you do, what you're going to realize is that is the same resistance that keeps you from having the money that you say you desire, that you think you desire. And a lot of us have points of view where we actually don't like money. We actually hate money. We actually resist money, which is why we have the financial situations that we do. And if I could wish one thing for you, it would actually be what we call the mantra of access, where all of life comes to you with ease and joy and glory, which is exuberant expression and abundance. And let's face it, having more money would tend to make that a lot easier for all of us. So please use this tool. I will be back in a couple days with another tool for you that I hope will also contribute. And what if during this holiday season, there no longer had to be a stress about money, but possibilities for what could actually be created with money or without it. So if we take money off the table as a limiting factor, what else could you choose and create? And one of the greatest ways of doing that is look at if I had all the money in the world, what would I choose? I adore you from lovely Copenhagen where the Symphony of Possibilities class is starting very soon. I am very excited. Ah, what if you truly being you are the gift, the change, and the possibility this world requires? And thank you for being in the world. And by the way, if you like these videos, please like them. If you really like them, please subscribe because that allows other people to find them and get access to these life-changing tools. Once again, my beautiful friends, thank you for being in the world. I look forward to seeing you in person someday. Bye-bye.